Harry, walk us through the mechanics of all this. Yeah, thanks. Um, so it's going to be, as you said, probably uh, the biggest deal of 2023. Also, interestingly, the biggest deal that um, that Exxon's done since it merged with Mobile, apparently, but way back in 1999. So, you know, it really speaks to what is happening in the sector at the moment. Um, uh, the uh, the whole space. I mean, you know, U.S. Uh, U.S. shale has been a, the backbone of U.S. energy independence uh, for a while, and the revolution there has been petering out for some time. What it is is a consolidation of the last remaining big assets. Uh, companies are cutting back on R&D and their own exploration um, and this consolidation is really going to kind of wrap it up for, the, for, for one of the majors as they look, uh, you know, really solidify gas when you uh, layer a, a, a supply shock as we've seen with the Ukraine crisis on top of an energy transition. People really start zeroing in on gas and it speaks to the importance of that in the, uh, in the modern world. Um, can you tell us a bit more about the details of what we know so far? I mean, this is Pioneer, what has a market cap of $50 billion. In terms of a price for this, I'm just wondering, it's not going to be cheap in some ways, right? No, not not cheap at all. I mean, a do dollar volume wise, of course, not. Uh, yeah, getting close to sixty billion, and much larger than the the next largest deal of the year, which was uh, Pfizer's acquisition of CGen, which was forty billion. So you know, we're, yeah, we're really really up there in terms of mega deals that'll that'll go down in history. Um, what, what, what's being reported and what we, what we understand, uh, uh, along with others, is that uh, it may get announced as soon as tomorrow or, or this week, this coming week. Um, the premium will be about 15 per cent, so it's not, a, not, not an absolute knockout premium, but does need to be pretty significant to get those shareholders over the line.